I was very early in my career. I was just starting out at Marvel, and Tom DeFalco called me up one day and said, hey, you want to do a fill-in Ghost Rider? Because I started doing a couple of fill-ins. And it's a point in my career where I, where I would not turn down anything. You know, it wasn't like, I've been waiting my whole life to do Ghost Rider. It was like, this is work. I will say yes, you know? So I said yes, and I did a couple of fill-ins, and Tom liked them, and somehow I ended up writing the book after that. I like a psychologically driven story. I'm the guy that goes, all right, so the guy's riding around on a motorcycle with a flaming skull. Well, how does it feel to be a guy riding around on a motorcycle in a flaming skull? And, and you know, what psychological problems does that to create? And what, what happened in your life to lead you up to this moment that you ended up being a guy with a flaming skull on a motorcycle? It's the interior life of the characters that interests me far more than the super heroics and the slam and the bang. I like things that are moody, that deal with the supernatural and the metaphysical. It's poetic and it allows you to, to, to creep between the shadows and get into areas that you can't get into in a superhero story. I think both those things kind of came together in, in, in Ghost Rider for me. When I started working on the book, and I was working with an artist named Bob Budiansky, and we used to co-plot the book together, and we'd be on the phone for hours, you know, working out these stories. So we tried to really build a dynamic between these two beings that were living really inside each other and constantly struggling with each other. It wasn't just the Ghost Rider came out and Johnny Blaze disappeared. The Ghost Rider came out and Johnny Blaze was sort of trapped, but he was still there and he was still aware. The deeper we got into that, the more of that we brought out. I have to give credit to Roger Stern, who was the writer just before me, who really did a wonderful job of finding a world to get that character into. He created the thing with the circus and the freak master that all came out of Roger Stern, and we built on that. Writing this stuff, I wasn't setting out to really write, quote, horror. You think, oh, that's pretty creepy, you know, but you don't think about the little 10-year-old kid that's gonna go to sleep and go, oh my God, his head was moving, you know? <laughs> Once you sit down to write, you gotta pour your heart and soul into it. You have to put in everything that matters to you into those stories, so yeah. And especially when you're getting to play with a character like Ghost Rider, which plays with all those issues of the demon within, which is basically just a big metaphor for all the stuff that we're all carrying around inside ourselves. You know, we all have 10,000 little demons running around inside ourselves. Suddenly our heads don't catch fire and we don't jump on a motorcycle, but really the fun of these characters is they're beautiful metaphors and horrible metaphors for all the wars that go on inside our own soul. So you walk in the door and you step into that world and suddenly, oh, this is great. This is exactly what I like to write about. These are just the kinds of stories I like to tell. Because I know as a reader, I was someone who when something touched my heart, I took it into the deeps of my soul. And in my mind is always that reader who reads the way that I read so that the story will affect them in the same way and it will touch their heart. And when I get a letter from somebody or I meet somebody at a convention or whatever it is, and they, they say, you know, this story really meant something to me. This story affected the way I see the world. It touched my heart, it made me cry. One person like that, well, that makes 25 years worth of writing worthwhile, you know what I mean? Because that's why I write. One of the nice things about the book being canceled, you know, if there's an upside to cancellation, is it was canceled with enough time that we actually got to finish the character's story. Ghost Rider was canceled, and even though in the back of your head you're thinking, well, maybe in a year someone's going to bring this character back, we were allowed to really complete the story and say, it's done. Johnny Blaze is free. This is what happened to Zarathos, and Blaze and, and Roxanne live happily ever after. It was nice to tell a complete story and finish it. It happens very rarely in, in, in mainstream superhero comics, yeah. And the nice thing was, when they brought him back 10 years later, it was a different character. It wasn't Johnny Blaze.